Well, hello there. There's a brand new NIL initiative that guarantees Texas offensive linemen $50,000 per year for engaging in charitable acts in their communities. Let's meet the co-founder of Horns With Heart, Rob Blair, to see the vision behind the nonprofit organization. But first, don't forget to pick up your new hat for the new season at Last Stand Hats. Use promo code TEXASHOMER, all caps, for 10% off your purchase at laststandhats.com. All right, let's get right into it. Rob, thank you for coming on during a very busy launch day. First things first, what's the quick elevator pitch behind Horns with Heart? So, you know, Horns with Heart is the first ever um, charitable NIL entity. Um, And what that means is we're actually doing good. Um, You know, when the NIL was first established, um, there were a lot of self-serving people that wanted to either make a quick buck or, you know, benefit off of name, image and likeness, which um, honestly, it felt a little dirty to me. You know, these these kids have been um, bandied about um, playing for free. You know, I I say free in quotation marks. I understand the argument of scholarship, you know, um, you know, receiving tuition money. I understand all that. But, you know, they they haven't been able to get the, you know, the the true benefit of their name, image and their likeness and as well as their trademark. So, you know, what we wanted to do here with Horns with Heart is change the narrative of what um, any name, image and likeness deal could be and make it non self-serving. Um, all of us are working fully pro bono um, and actively losing money at this point <laughs> and and uh, really make it about not only the kids, but being a positive element um, for the University of Texas. You know, it should be something that, um, you know, the name, Im- name, image and likeness laws state that you can't have a um, entity like ours affiliated with the university. And we totally respect that. Um, but it would be something that I would hope that they would point to as a positive reflection of, of the university itself. Um, you know, with what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish, um, our goal is a win, win, win scenario. You know, my background's in sales, um, with that sales background, I'm always searching for the win, win, win mentality. And, um, for us, it's, it's benefiting the players is benefiting the program. Um, and it's benefiting the community, which there isn't a single NIL deal out there in the nation right now that can claim. Um, you know, it's it's one thing to throw you know a thousand dollars to a player to go on a podcast. It's a fully another thing to pay a kid now fifty thousand dollars a year to go out and build a Habitat for Humanity house, or you know, serve at a soup kitchen, or you know, you you name the charity, and and that's our goal. And that's our mission is to connect the player that wants to do good, that wants to do right for the community in the scenario that they will be able to accomplish that. That's a cool concept. And I heard you talking on the horn earlier about setting these kids up for success. And a lot of players come from tough situations and only a small percentage of players ever even go to the NFL. And if we look at this deal over time, in accordance with some of the other NIL deals announced like Clarkfield Collective, players could gross over $500,000 during their college playing career. So can you talk a little bit about how these deals can help players become financially literate with some options after football? Absolutely. And, you know, that's that's one of our biggest things right now is, you know, you have these kids that, you know, like I mentioned, they come from these, you know, harsher backgrounds. And most people assume, you know, everybody has that that general mentality of the, you know, especially the University of Texas athlete as a prima donna, you know, they're fancy and they, you know, they come from wealth even. And, you know, it, it's it's such a misconception of what these kids truly come from, what they're trying to accomplish and, you know, kind of the environment that raised them, you know, for them, just getting to the University of Texas is a win for a lot of these guys. And for us to turn that win into a bigger win is exactly what we're aiming for. You know, we want their experience at the University of Texas to set them up for success in life. You know, right now, the the NIL landscape is just the Wild West. They don't know what they're getting from these deals. They're signing contracts. There's there are some NIL contracts that I've seen signed that are just disgusting. They are they're so self-serving um, for the person that's putting in front of the athlete. And, and frankly, it's, it's, it just is a giant detriment to the kid's future. And they, and what's, what's terrible about all of this is they just, they, they don't know, 
they're they're 18, 19, 20 year old kids. I would be the exact same way at their age. I I was the exact same at their age. You know, I didn't know what I was signing. You know, you put two thousand dollars in my face as a 19 year old kid and I'm going to sign it. So, you know, so with something like this, our you know overarching goal not only is to make a positive in- impact in our community, but really benefit those kids. Um, after college, you know, there's there's no position group right now with the Pancake Factory, um, the offensive linemen. They're the only time you see the offensive line um, is when they do something bad on TV. If they get a holding call, they miss a block. They're, they're, there's no Sports Center top ten blocks. There should be. I love a good block, but you know, there it's 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 such a vital position that gets zero coverage. And if we can bring that to light during this, it just sets us up for the rest of it. You know, so if we can get them exposure, you know, I think I said on the horn when I when I was on there, Joe Thomas is probably the best left tackle that ever played football and he was never on a Wheaties box. So if we can bring some positive exposure for these kids to set them up for life after football, as well as bringing obvious positive exposure for the charitable causes that are going to they're, they're going to be support. Again, we're back to that win 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 scenario. Yeah, man. And the whole point of repealing these archaic laws was to ensure athletes weren't being exploited. But some of these wild NIL deals are even more exploitative than the previous prohibition. So I'm excited you and your team want to ensure the players are of benefit and not just businesses seeing dollar signs. And on top of that, you're focusing on the offensive line opposed to the flashy skill players who are already earning NIL money. Yeah, we um, I mean, we found out that the um, the largest NIL deal for the offensive line last year was less than four figures. So um, we found that information out and it was blatantly obvious to us what our first cause should be. Um, not only do you have, you know, the, the biggest position group currently at the university, um, which can do the most good for, you know, for, for the charitable causes, um, but you also have the most needy at that point um, because, you know, everybody wants to pay Bijan. I want to pay Bijan. <laughs> you know, everybody wants to pay Bijan Robinson because he's 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 a great kid. He's doing great for the school. He's doing great for the community. But at the same point, nobody is thinking about Jake Majors. You know, and and we want to think about Jake Majors. And the first iteration is focused on the offensive line. But I've heard you mention this is scalable for other positions and for even other sports. Correct. Absolutely, that's our number one goal, and it's not just football. So you know, everybody. University of Texas, you think football, you think Vince Young, fourth and five. Everybody thinks that Um, we want to be so much bigger than that. We want to cover every sport, especially women's sports. It's very near and dear to our hearts. Um, We really want to be a fully functioning entity for the University of Texas to get, especially, you know, with the women's, you know, the women's basketball, women's softball. These are some great programs with some great coaches, some great kids. And they 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 don't get the you know, I don't want to say respect because because they're obviously very well respected in their fields, but they don't get the attention that they deserve. Um, so if we can bring any aspect of that um, and make it even 5% better, that's that's absolutely our mission and absolutely our goal. And how can the viewers and the fans get involved? Is it donor only right now or is there a crowdsourcing feature? How can the average person help out? Absolutely. So, you know, right now this is coming from donors, um, including the Clarkfield Collective. Um, they've been a crucial part of this. Um, you know, they're they're going to do some great in their community as well. Um, so uh, right now um, we are open to every form of donation. You know, we at the end of the day, how we receive money, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters to us is how we get that money back out. Um, and who we get it back out to. And so, you know, anybody can donate. We will, um, you know, obviously on our hornswithheart.org, um, you, there is a donation, uh, or sorry, not a donation button, a, a contact us button. Um, and we absolutely encourage everybody listening to this, go fill it out. Even, you know, we're, you know, obviously it's it's hard to take a lot of $10 donations. Um, as you know, I, I was one of the members um, that started the Burn Ends um, NIL deal, which was the original crowdsource NIL um, donation platform. And um, it's still near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, obviously we want to progress that. You know, I, I, I treat Burn Ends as kind of my um, proof of concept 
of, you know, hey, this is how it can work. And down the line, we absolutely want that, you know, and, and, you know, big overarching our ideas are great. You know, I, I don't want to promise too much right now on this call. Obviously, we've only been launched for about six hours at this point. Um, but, you know, five, six, seven years, 10 years down the road, hopefully even sooner than that, you know, we're talking about a fully staffed business that has a CPA on staff that's going to help these kids that re are receiving this NIL money that has no they have no idea what short-term capital gains tax is. Um, you know, graphic designers that are on staff that can help these kids build their own brand. You know, like you mentioned before, you know, everybody thought NIL was just going to be, hey, this kid's selling a t-shirt. Well, let us help you sell that t-shirt. You know, uh, Open Doors has been, um, it's been there. Uh, it Open Doors, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want to, um, you know, disparage them too much. Um, but for what it's worth, it's it that is the epitome of the Wild West. So we could create our own Texas centric open doors concept where we could wor work hand in hand with compliance to have those comp compliance approved deals before they even get in front of the kids. Because right now it's for, you know, for instance, um, to get the burn end set up, I had to DM Cade Brewer. And then I had to DM his dad on Twitter, you know, and, and what a terrible concept that is to have to go that route when we're talking about this large amount of money just to, you know, give money to these kids. And that's frankly, that's what we're having to do. Um, you know, so if we can create a platform that's all encompassing, you know, with in terms of lawyers, CPAs, you know, graphic designers, everything down the board, if we can create one entity whose sole focus is on positive impact in their community and the UT student athletes life. That's, that's absolutely our mission. That's absolutely our goal. And I do have to do my due diligence for the viewers and because charities can sometimes raise eyebrows with their creative accounting. You guys have been super upfront about your numbers and where the money is going and we covered all the good stuff, but can you also ensure to us that the people behind the scenes are legit and the money is going straight to the players? Absolutely. All the money is going to the, the only thing that we will ever take from horns with heart is going to be, um, out of the donors money. It's going to be going to maybe PayPal fees or something like that. Um, we will never receive a dime of your donations. It'll all go directly either to the athlete or the charitable causes. Um, you know, obviously when you say, Hey, here's $10 and it's $5 to the athlete, $5 to the charity, it gets a little complicated, but you know, for sizable donations, absolutely. You can tell us where to direct that money. If you want 50% go to, to the charity of, of your choice and you're donating a hundred thousand dollars, absolutely we can accomplish that you know we we have no interest in money you know we've been very lucky um all of us board members like i said we've been working pro bono for six months now um since nil started um we have not received a dime we have actively lost money and we're happy to do it because we know the impact that it's going to make long term um and you know, we, we, this isn't a money grab for us. Um, you know, open doors takes 15% of every single NIL deal. We have no interest in doing that because it doesn't benefit anything. Um, you know, sure. There are operating costs. Eventually, you know, we'll probably get some pancake factory t-shirts and mar merch up, you know, obviously we're not going to eat all of that, uh, you know, out of the pocket, but of course, you know, the money will go dir directly to the athletes, um, uh, all the profits, um, you know, so, so there will be overhead as in any business, but we have no interest interest in, in turning this into a moneymaker for us or for the University of Texas. Um, the only thing that matters to us is getting athletes paid and getting charities helped. It's awesome, man. And I'm excited for the organization and I'm proud of my fellow grads for making this come to life. Before we get out of here, will you tell us one last time where we can go to learn more about Horns with Heart? Yeah, absolutely. We're on every social media platform you have right now, even TikTok. I didn't even know how to start a TikTok, but I found out how to start a TikTok. So um, we're at Horns with Heart on Instagram, um, Twitter, and TikTok, uh, as well as Horns with Heart on Facebook. You'll be able to search that um, on LinkedIn, as well as hornswithheart.org. Um, that's going to be our landing page. We'll have a bigger page coming out um, probably towards the end of January. Um, it'll be a lot more interactive, but for now, it'll at least have a submission, let you know about our mission statement, as well as see our press release for the uh, the Pancake Factory, which is our initial um, you know, first time deal. 
And that's a big thanks to Rob for coming on and explaining this new concept to us. I believe in this and I hope you do as well. Feel free to fill out the contact form over at hornswithheart.org today and get involved. You can support the team and local communities throughout Texas. It's a win-win like Rob said. Link to the website in the description below. Also, I want to give a shout out to the homies over at Inside Texas for setting this up. Make sure to visit InsideTexas.com today to stay up to date on the program as we near National Signing Day 1. Thanks for hanging out. Watch some more of my videos here and like, subscribe and share if you'd like to support quality Texas content. As always, book on.